مساء الخير يسعد اوقاتكم جميعا بالحلقه الاولى من مرجع بودكاست يونيفرستي كورنرز ومعنا ال ام يو يونيفرستي حنبدا بالانترو انتظرونا Hello everyone again in our first episode of Marja Podcast University Corner. I'm very happy to have Daniel from LMU University with us today to talk more about the university. Welcome, Daniel. Thank you so much, Sammy. Thank you for having me. Great. So it's a good morning in your time. Mm-hmm. Uh, so you for your time uh, to be with us today. So can you make a small intro about yourself and your position and your university and then a small intro about LMU University? Absolutely. Uh, well, again, thank you for the opportunity to be here today. Uh, my name is Daniel Marshner. I'm the Director of International Admission at Loyola Marymount University. Uh, so I work with students who are interested in both undergraduate and master's degrees. Uh, who are coming to applying from outside the United States. <clears throat> uh, so Loyola Marymount University is located in Los Angeles, California. Uh, so we are a medium sized institution. We have just under 10,000 students uh, and that includes um, just under 7,000 undergraduate students as well as 2,000 master's students in various programs and about 1,000 students in our law school as well. <clears throat> Uh, Los Angeles, if you're not familiar, is uh, the second largest city in the U.S. Uh, one incredible place to study for a lot of reasons. Uh, it's a very international, very diverse city, beautiful weather, uh, great climate year-round, uh, a lot of natural beauty in the area, uh, and also a lot of really fun things to do uh, in the city. <clears throat> so we have a great location in the city. We're located pretty centrally, uh, pretty close to the international airport, about one kilometer away about one kilometer from the Pacific Ocean. Um, and you can see things like the Hollywood sign from our campus, for example. So um, <clears throat> we're also really close to a lot of great tech companies. So we have neighbors like Google, Facebook, SpaceX, uh, Electronic Arts, places like that. So quite a few very well, well-known companies that are located very close by and excited to work with our students. <clears throat> so Amazing. Go ahead. I'm oh, sorry. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and so, uh, you know, offer a really wide range of uh, things students can study, uh, including courses in the STEM field. So things like civil, electrical, and mechanical engineering and computer science, uh, life sciences like biology and chemistry, um, <clears throat> a really, really prominent college of business, uh, you know, being so many com- companies located nearby, for example, that's a big draw. Uh, so uh, entrepreneurship program, marketing, finance, business analytics, things like that. Yeah. Uh, We also have a really strong, um, (coughs) excuse me, uh, School of Film and Television. So for anyone who's interested in uh, being part of the entertainment industry, uh, there's a great film and television production program, animation, um, things like that are really, really prominent in Los Angeles. Uh, We also have a a great college of communication and fine arts. So a really well-known theater program, um, art, music, dance, uh, those kind of things are really well served as well. And the foundation of our university is our our Bellarmine College of Liberal Arts. And so we have some really prominent programs and things like political science, economics, international relations, psychology. Um, So the idea is that we have international students who are in all of those programs. And and overall, about 10 percent of our students are international and they come from 90 different countries. Amazing, amazing. It's uh, a lot of uh, different advantages that uh you have in your campus uh please for the people who are watching us now um please if you have any questions uh, for daniel about lmu university please put it in the comment and we will answer you um right away after we finish a couple of questions uh so if you have any questions i see like you have any questions if you have any problem in the voice or something like that please put it in the comments and we will ask you uh so 
Daniel, if I am a student, I'm coming to you and telling you why I should go for your university, not other universities. Uh, we, you know, and like in business, we have something called competitive advantage. So what make us, uh, like you have mentioned some very cool stuff about the locations, the campus, etc. but can you tell us more about uh, what is the main advantages that make me as a student apply and go for university? Absolutely, yeah. Uh, so there are quite a few advantages to studying the United States in general, I would say, um, in terms of being, again, in a very international, diverse uh, location like we are. Um, so things like connections with so many great companies and professional experiences, and that's part of the experience of being an international student. Uh, we're also, you know, being a medium-sized institution is a really strong advantage of ours as well. Uh, and so the idea is that we have connections, um, you know, with, with our professors and our students that are really strong. Uh, and so, you know, you may be going to, uh, considering an option, for example, of a much, much larger institution, uh, that maybe wouldn't offer the same kind of uh, mentorship relations and connections that you'd find on our campus in terms of the faculty and the students really supporting each other. Um, we're lucky to have a really beautiful campus as well. And so, you know, being in an environment like Los Angeles, uh, there's a lot of opportunities to be out and about and enjoy the weather year round. Uh, so certainly a lot of students from the MENA region really appreciate that aspect. Um, we also are a Jesuit institution, so we're part of a network of universities all around the world uh, and higher education institutions, secondary schools. Uh, so there's a lot of global connections there as well. So if students are interested in meeting other students from around the world or connecting with, say, study abroad experiences all around the world, there's a lot of connections there as well. Um, and so also part of the, the experience of being a student is really being connected with a very vibrant campus culture. So about 95% of our first year students live on campus and they create uh, a lot of activities on the evenings and the weekends with clubs, and organizations and things like that. So obviously there's tons of things to do in Los Angeles and we definitely want students to take advantage of everything that LA has to offer, but also right on campus as well, there's a ton of different groups and activities and organizations. So that, that aspect is really strong as well. So those kind of strong bonds you can make as a student on our campus, that, that's certainly a very big aspect as well. <clears throat> And finally, I would say there's a really strong uh, just a spirit of being someone who wants to make the world a better place on campus that I think is very attractive to students as well. And so there's uh, opportunities in Los Angeles and around the world of just making a positive impact. And so I think that's certainly um, it, it's a great atmosphere to be around and that people are generous with their time, talents and abilities. And so it's a very welcoming environment from that perspective as well. Amazing, amazing. So while we are talking about the university, I would love to make the students see campus and some activities in campus and forms. So let's see this video. Uh, it's a drone tour in the uh, university and back again to continue our questions. It's amazing all this uh, campus and like uh, the materials. You are near from Hollywood, I think, right? I'm sorry. We, could you repeat that question? Yeah. So like there are, I see like uh, studios and uh, materials, cameras, and uh, so tell tell us more about the film or the 
uh, degrees around uh, this, uh, like for for studios and or like multimedia or mass. Yeah, absolutely. You know, being in Los Angeles, being the heart of the entertainment industry, uh, really in the world. Uh, that means we have so many great connections with local studios and things like that, and, and a lot of great facilities for our students as well. Uh, and so specifically students who are interested in the film school have access to you know, top of the line film um, and camera equipment, uh, studios to be able to record whatever they would like to do there. Um, obviously we're in a unique time in Los Angeles in terms of the pandemic, but normally there are just a tremendous amount of uh, productions that are taking place and, and shows being recorded all the time. Uh, and so there are a lot of practical experiences that our students can have working at a film set, working at a studio. Uh, so again, this is, it's a really exciting place to be able to study film and television for sure. Amazing, amazing. And I am curious about the other activities that it's happened for the students. So in like, whether it's uh, like in the city or the campus or like volunteering work, internships, what type of activities that's available around or inside the campus? Yeah, and I think I think it's a great question, and I think it's really important to emphasize how, how crucial these experiences are really uh, to our students, and that we find that there are a ton of learning experiences that take place outside of the classroom. And so being in a major city like Los Angeles, there's so many great connections you can make here in the city with terms of local communities from around the world, uh, whether it be community service experiences uh, right around our campus with local schools, for example, or, or traveling throughout the United States or around the world to support uh, communities around the world in various projects. Uh, but there's also a lot of you know things like Division One sports, for example. So we have 21 different varsity sports that our students can can join and be part of and and, um, and support their teammates, their their fellow students uh, as they compete against other universities. Uh, a great recreation center, um, <clears throat> lots of different performing arts opportunities as well. So anything from uh, choirs and musical groups to uh, dance competitions, things like that. I mean, there's a ton of different things of, of ways for students to be involved. And we find the students who really appreciate their time with us are really actively involved in the life of the campus. And so finding activities and events on the evenings and the weekends right here on campus, but again, also really appreciating everything that Los Angeles has to offer, whether it be through uh, some of the natural beauty of the beaches or the uh, hiking in the mountains, that kind of stuff, uh, to attending Hollywood premieres or attending other networking events to further their careers. And so there's an endless array of experiences that are available to our students. Amazing. Uh, so uh, it took me to our next question. So I like and I'm more curious to know, like, and I believe the other students are more curious to know about uh, what is the requirement to enter uh, the program, whether like it's a um, bachelor or master degree, what is like the general requirements to apply? Absolutely. Uh, so again, they're going they're going to vary uh, pretty significantly if you're applying for an undergraduate degree versus a master's degree. Uh, but as a general rule, uh, we do. <clears throat> I work directly with students from the MENA region. So if you have any questions, you feel free to contact me directly. I'm happy to share my contact information at the end of this uh, event. Um, <clears throat> but in general, we do on the undergraduate side, except the common application, if you're familiar with that, or we have our own uh, online application. Uh, we have a, a couple of different major deadlines of uh, November 1st and January 15th for students who are hoping to start, and where the, where the majority of students do, uh, in the uh, fall term each year, so starting at the end of August of each year. Uh, we do not require the SAT or the ACT or any kind of standardized tests from international applicants. Uh, we typically do require a uh, proof of English proficiency, and so that can be a TOEFL, an IELTS, um, Duolingo English test, or the Pearson test of English. I will accept any of those. Uh, on the undergraduate side. On the graduate side, typically we, there is a uh, application that we ask our students to complete, our prospective students to complete for the individual program we offer. And again, the wide range of master's courses to consider there. Uh, and again, I work with both undergraduate and graduate. So if there's any questions about the type of documentation that we need, uh, feel free to contact us directly. But as a general, we are looking for students who have strong academic backgrounds, uh, but also have uh, interest in, in several different areas, uh, and also that aspect of being one, being one to contribute to making the world a better place. That's certainly something that we take into consideration as we're considering the applications we receive. Good to know. And is the application open all the time, or is there a period of time it's open and closed? So it's a great question. Right. So as a general rule, um, it, it varies by program and by opportunity that you're considering. 
Uh, so we have some programs that have a pretty strict deadline in terms of when students have to apply, others that are a little bit more flexible. So it really just depends upon the student uh, and the individual interest they have. Um, on the first year undergraduate side, those deadlines are pretty, um, pretty hard in that we do expect the vast majority of our students to apply by either November 1st or January 15th. Uh, if a student is interested in transferring from another institution, there's a little bit more flexibility there. On the graduate side, we have some programs that have very uh, strict deadlines. Uh, so for example, our, our film and television production program is a very strict deadline, whereas our, our programs in the STEM fields are a little more flexible. So it really does depend upon what program that interests the particular student. Okay, and uh, my final question is, what is the average tuition fees per year to study with a bachelor or master? So again, great question, and it will depend upon the, uh, the course that a student uh, is considering. Uh, and we do consider students automatically on the undergraduate side for merit-based scholarships, as well as on the graduate side, we do have some funding available for students as well. Um, on the undergraduate side, uh, we do talk about a total cost of attendance, which includes things like tuition, accommodation, meals, housing, uh, transportation, books, pretty much anything that you can think of. And so for this current year, it's about $74,000 US. <clears throat> and then the, based okay. upon the master's programs a student considers, that can be anywhere from about 50, uh, 50 to $60,000 per year based upon the program. Uh, and so again, if you take a look at the various options we offer, we can you consider students for uh, merit-based scholarship opportunities based upon uh, their academic background and their interest in the particular program that we have. Okay, so we will take now a couple of questions from uh, our audience who watch us now. So we have question we was I think we was talking about now. Do you offer questions? Uh, sorry, so do you offer scholarships? Yes, we do. Uh, so students are considered automatically for merit-based scholarships when they apply. Uh, for on the undergraduate side, the first year students, the range is anywhere from two thousand dollars up to about thirty thousand dollars per year. Okay, and they can apply for this scholarship using your portal, your official website, right? When they apply uh, for for admission, they're also considered for scholarships automatically. Okay, okay, great. Um, we have uh, Tarnim asking about, uh, do you have a dentistry program? So that's a great question. We actually do not have our own dentistry school um, or medical school. We do have some great advising through our career and professional development office who works with students who might be interested in entering dental school or medical school uh, after completing a degree uh, on our campus. Uh, so again, we work with an advising staff that would prepare students for uh, study at a different institution. Okay, and we have, do you offer any kind of scholarship or answer this one? Um, so there are question in Arabic, I will translate it. Is there any exchange program uh, for low studies? So we so we do have a uh, learner law school as well uh, for international students. The main course that interests them is our uh, LLL program, which is focused on a master's of international law. Uh, so that's typically after a student has studied for a law degree in their home country and are looking to pursue that opportunity. Uh, be being in a major international hub like Los Angeles, there are a lot of connections with uh, consulates, for example, uh, and other kind of <clears throat> international bodies. So international law here uh, is a great option to consider. Okay, great. So uh, there are sort of long question. I have, uh, I am bachelor graduate uh, in English apply. So she, she was asking about, um, is it possible to apply for a uh, master degree and I believe and the procedures and fees. Um, mm -hmm. I believe, yeah, we have talked about uh, the process. You can maybe make a summarize for the process and uh, the fees yeah, I mean, for the So yeah, rather than uh, go into the process too extensively right now, what I'd really encourage you to, to do uh, is go to our website, which is pretty easy to remember. It's just lmu.edu, so lmu.edu. And you can find more about the graduate programs we offer, about the expectations uh, of the application process, um, and any information about the, the fees and, and all those kind of things. So I encourage you to go to the website there. Uh, and again, I'm happy to connect with any students. I'm happy to, to provide my contact information once we're finished here, um, or for any students who might be interested in further questions for additional okay. 
So uh, another question, do you have a biochemistry as postdoctoral uh, program? Uh, unfortunately, we don't offer a biochemistry as a graduate program. We offer that on the undergraduate level. So we don't offer any kind of postdoctoral programs in biochemistry. Okay. And uh, let's see. Um, the, someone asking about the PhD requirements. So, uh, yeah, uh, so we offer one um, educational doctorate uh, in educational leadership and for social justice. Uh, and that's in our school of education. Uh, so that's the uh, it's educational doctorate uh, program that we offer. So it's not a PhD program. Uh, we actually do not offer any PhD programs at the university, just that one um, program in the School of Education, as well as the Juris Doctorate in the uh, law school as well. Okay. And there are Omar asking about, is there a mechatronics degree? So we offer uh, on the undergraduate and graduate side, we offer mechanical engineering. And so, uh, you know, being in, in a major aerospace hub as well, there's a lot of connections there. Uh, actually, one of the co-founders of SpaceX, which is the rocket company, was actually uh, an LMU mechanical engineering uh, graduate student uh, who uh, was part of that program and is very excited to work with our LMU students. They also have worked on programs about uh, Hyperloop, so the future of transportation, as well as a satellite program called Loyola Mars. Uh, so there's a lot of really great hands-on experiences there, whether it be the undergraduate program or the graduate program in mechanical engineering. Okay, great. There are uh, some more questions, but like we run out of time. So um, I would encourage you to go for the website for uh, the university and uh, apply or ask for help. I think Daniel and his department will help you uh, with all the process and also Anytime you need any information, you can uh, go to our website, marja.com, and uh, choose, like, speak with experts to talk one, with one of our counselors, helping you to find the best fit university or um, discover the different universities all over the world in our education portal. Uh, so anytime you can go to our platform and see different uh, scholarship programs, universities, schools, <laughs> courses all over the world. Thank you again, Daniel, for your time. It's a pleasure to have you in our episode. It was great and I'm really excited and hopefully to see you again and visit your campus one day. That's great. Thank, Thank you, you for Sammy. Thank you, everyone who's watching today. Take care. Thank you, everyone.